in consumer product design and other applications where aesthetics are important, constant and variable radius fillets have limited use due to the sharp change in curvature. Curvature continuous fillets produce smooth results but are limited to a single constant radius. Now the fillet feature in SOLIDWORKS 2014 gives you even more control to define a new type of shape, a constant or variable radius conic fillet. A bottle is a typical example of where the shape of an edge is blended to make it look good. Let's delete this fillet and add a new conic fillet to this top edge. Straight away you will notice that the user interface has been enhanced to give you extra control. A new pull down lets you determine the shape of the fillet profile as either a standard circular fillet, a conic controlled by row value, which as I'm sure you'll recall is the angle of a plane intersecting a cone, or by conic radius which is the minimum radius of curvature of the conic. Just like the conic sketch entity, if you adjust row to be a small value, the shape becomes flatter, almost like a chamfer. And a higher value makes the fillet sharper, so it gives you lots of options to explore. Setting row to be 0.4142 gives you the same shape as a circular fillet. Perhaps more useful is the conic radius. Setting the minimum radius of curvature to be the same as the fillet radius also gives you a circular fillet, but now you can control the shape of the fillet by exact known sizes. Adding a large radius flattens the fillet, adding a small radius sharpens it. What makes this feature so powerful is that you can combine it with a variable radius fillet, so you can define the fillet radius and the conic radius as any number of points along an edge. Setting all points to be equal gives you a starting point of a constant radius circular fillet and from there you can start to make your adjustments. Changing this centre point to be 15 with a conic radius of 2 gives you a nice blended shape while keeping the side edges constant. Likewise you can change the fillet shape to get a sharper profile around the edge of the bottom face. Conic fillets can also be created using face fillets which are especially useful if you need to fill its surfaces with no common edge. The user interface has changed here too. The width of the fillet can be controlled by setting this value to radial, which creates a regular fillet, or to chord width, which was previously called constant width, but now also shows a graphic to describe what it's doing more clearly. Then you have the option for curvature continuous as before, so just a minor change to the interface there. However, switching back to radial gives you the extra options for conic row and conic radius, so you can create dramatic or subtle fillets with ease. To complete the model, adding some conic fillets to the neck of the bottle creates some interesting effects. Using either an edge or face-to-face -face conic fillet, the end result is similar to adding draft or taper to surrounding faces. With the new conic fillet feature, SOLIDWORKS 2014 provides a wider variety of simple point and click blending options that give you the control you need of your desired shape, in addition to the more powerful boundary surface and fill surface features.